AAC blocks are light in weight and it floats on water. It is stronger than conventional regular bricks. This is a small sample of uh, AAC block. You can see how it floats on water. Um, It has an advantages in uh, some of high thermal insulation, high sound insulation, fire resistance and pest resistance. For this manufacture of AAC blocks, they used cement, lime, fly ash or we can use sand and aluminum powder and water. First cement, lime, fly ash are mixed with water and uh, homogeneous mixture formed. In this mixture, Required quantity of aluminum powder is added and mixed well. Then the slurry is poured into the mold. Now aluminum powder react with lime and generate hydrogen gas. This will result rising of slurry volume. After some time, the wet mass is sliced into the required size and autoclaved. We, the, our company is manufacturing here aluminum powder for this concrete blocks application. Um, we are going to see various types of test. There are two tests performed in this aluminum powder. One is gas evolution test. Another one is uh, specific surface area by blind apparatus method. Aluminum powder plays a major role in AAC block manufacturing process. To ensure the quality of aluminum powder reactivity, here we check the gas evolution test. In this, aluminum reacted with calcium hydroxide and release hydrogen gas. We record the rate of hydrogen gas formation every minute. For this test, we require the following material. This is a gas evolution test apparatus, 250 ml conical flask, calcium hydroxide, a timer, DM water and analytical balance, aluminum powder. First, we take 12 gram of calcium hydroxide in 250 ml conical flask and then add 40 ml of TM water. Mix well to get homogeneous solution. Then it is kept in water bath for 5 minutes. After that only testing will be carried out. In the meantime, we take 70 mg of aluminum powder in a glazed paper. 5 minutes already over. Now, we take the reaction flask from the water bath and add aluminum powder into it. Before starting the test, we have to ensure the water level in zero. Now I have add aluminum powder into the calcium hydroxide solution. The mixture should be shaked well for 30 seconds. Then keep into the water bath. After reaching the first minute, we have to note down the reading.
we have to monitor the reading every minute as like that we have monitored the data for about 30 minutes in this test our requirement is 65 cc of hydrogen gas should be evolved at 16th minute here we achieve the requirement specific surface area is the one of the important parameter to ensure the quality of aluminum powder this is a air permeability apparatus to check the specific surface area of our aluminum powder this is a cell which is calibrated by using standard cement then this is a perforated disc this is a plunger this is a sample cell now i insert the perforated metal disc into this sample cell then i insert one filter paper disc into this cell and place it over the metallic filter disc Now I tear the sample cell and sample to be taken in this cell. Again, I place the paper filter decks over the aluminum powder and insert the plunger and to form a bed. Now, the filling of aluminum powder is over. Weight of the sample taken is 1.1176 gram. This is a air permeability apparatus. Now I place the cell into the sample holder. This apparatus consists of four lines. This is the bottom line is the liquid level line this is a end point line this is a test line For, uh, first line the liquid level should not go beyond the light level now i withdraw the liquid level above the second line After reaching that, I start the stopwatch. This is the time taken for the this sample. Now I feed this time and weight into the Excel sheet, and we can get the results.
aluminum powder is sensitive to heat water and electrostatic current so we have to handle aluminum powder properly main thing dust cloth should not be formed during aluminum powder handling and water should not be mixed with aluminum powder in storage place aluminum powder is a pyrophoric nature we can see by this burning dust aluminum powder is formed as a cone by using the dye i ignite the aluminum powder in single match stick it will catch fire this will continue to the bottom of the cone that time will be recorded as spread up to this time this is spread time now we can see the glow this is a glow so aluminum powder should be stored in proper manner in storage area water should not be entered into this aluminum powder in our laboratory we have sophisticated instruments to test aluminum powder this is particle size analyzer to check particle size of aluminum powder this instrument is basically run in laser diffraction technology this is a sample holder we put sample into this and we check the particle size now background is taken for the water then we put the sample to be tested into the sample cell and we get the results this is the test report of aluminum powder in this report we can get d10 that is diameter at 10 percentage in microns and diameter at 50 percentage and diameter and 90 percentage and mean diameter this is the main parameter required to control the production and apart from that we have other facilities to check the morphology of aluminum particles by using our uh, microscope and uh, we have a ph meter and a conductivity meter and a turbidity meter to check water samples this is atomic absorption spectrophotometer to check trace elements in our aluminum ingots and our finished goods. Here we can check iron, silicon, copper, zinc, manganese, magnesium like that. This is the principle of absorption, atomic absorption technique. Here we have used calibration standard from reputed concern Merck. This is analytical balance on anti-vibration table for our weighing purpose. Then this is for apparent density test cup and funnel. This is sieve checker to check the particle sieve size. 